Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Manila FM and today we're going to start a new season uh, on the game but I, this time around I've done things a little bit different because um, um, well essentially because I've been stuck in a hotel room and I couldn't record but also because I just realized that we don't usually do FA Cup or FA Trophy uh, matches together here so, so I've decided to actually play a f the first few matches of the of the league um, outside of the recording and we're gonna catch up today to look at the second qualifying round of the FA Cup so just to give you a summary of transfers and the start of the season as well uh, we are currently in 12th with eight matches 13 points two points away from the promotion zone so um, everything's still uh, quite tight in terms of um, what could happen uh, we had one loss so far in the season. The rest of them have been um, the rest of the matches have been either drawn draws or wins. For the transfers themselves, we've done actually quite a lot of transfers, more than I was predicting initially. Um, and it turns out that we have been able to achieve um, a younger squad this time around. Uh, so we have quite a lot of young players around. Um, let me just pull up the notes on the side. So. Just to show you like the amount of players that have left the club, quite a lot of them. You know, our goalkeeper left, uh, Jared, uh, Jared Hotchkiss left, and actually he was the only original player from Hereford. Um, so that, so, so he's gone. Uh, a couple of our centre backs have left. Um, And yeah, not much else to mention. Obviously, Ross retired. He was getting old. He was one of our main players um, in the in the club. But yeah, we've basically, due to either players leaving the club of their own accord, or loans ending, or retirements, um, we've been um, sort of forced to do more transfers than expected. We also did a few transfers just by choice. For example, we got some better goalkeepers uh, as well. So starting with the goalkeeping, we still have Kami Bin, Bini, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, Kami is back with us on loan again, but we also went and got a more experienced goalkeeper. Uh, uh, Jasbir Singh is more experienced and we're kind of alternating them. Uh, not really sure who's going to be the main keeper yet. Let me just adjust the camera a little bit, it's a bit high isn't it? There we go, a bit better. Um, so so that that's the goalkeeping side of things. On the right wing, um, sorry, on the right side of the defence, we've got two brand new players. We've got Mark Morrison, 24 year old, year old uh, who's come uh, from Thron, Thrun. If you're from Scotland let me know how that's meant to be pronounced. So a Scottish player and we also have Marcel Oakley who's 20 and he's been playing for Birmingham um, so yeah Oakley and also Mark Morrison on the left side we have John uh, Joe Brown again on loan uh, and we still have Jake um, Jack Lane from last year wait was back Mark Morrison for this last year I don't remember him but apparently he was with us last year Apparently he was with us last year already. So, yeah. One new player on the right side, one new player on the left side. Even though the new player on the left side is back on, back from loan again, so he's not technically a new player. Now, for the centre of the fence, we actually got three new players. We got Jack Batten for the defensive side, uh, rather than the cover. And Jack Batten apparently has been playing for Bath the past few years in real life. Uh, and Angel is a regen, I think. Angel Coulter, regen player, 17 years old, who started off in Dartford and then went to Welling for free. And he's been playing with us now. We still have Cam Condola f um, for the covering side of the fence. And we went and got Edward Jones for the to be the second player in that position. He's 18, he's got quite a good promise. Um, uh, potential ability and he's from Everton on the defensive midfielder position we just got a new one George Abbott he's 
quite promising. He's an 18 year old. They, they reckon he's our best player. I'm not entirely sure about that, but that's what they reckon. I don't think so, but he's come from Tottenham and he's got great potential, so he will be developing, I am sure. Uh, we also got a new player for the attacking centre midfield, uh, Martin Donnelly, who can also play um, as a Engash as well up here on the front. So he, he kind of a player that we got who could just be an, a good sub to have around. He can play quite a few different positions. No changes to the right side of attack, so that's the inver inverted in winger. But we did get uh, another player for the wide target position. And this guy can play, all, again, almost anywhere. It's 31-year-old um, Dan Wishart, who's been through quite a few teams, but most recently uh, was at Wellston, and then had a, uh, a one-year spell at Kings Lynn. And in attack... Doolan is starting to decline because he's getting old, so we went and got this 18-year-old kid, Detlef Esapa Song, I think that's how you say his name, and he's not a region, I don't think. No, not a region, so it's a real player uh, from Nottingham Forest. And he's been doing great so far. So that is the situation at the moment at the club. Obviously, uh, I think I've improved a little bit the junior coaching somehow my 19 my under 19s disappeared but it's fine i don't really need them so that's okay we've done small improvements to his coaching uh dynamics wise we're still on average so we, we lost quite a lot of cohesion because we, we swapped over so many players in the transfers and we still have doolan as our captain and now dow is our new vice captain as well we still have no players in this highly influential zone tactics wise we're starting to go a bit more positive with the tactics this time around in the season um but with less changes in between games so it's becoming quite constant now um the setup we're usually positive sometimes balanced but we're shooting on side with holy cro early crosses uh set pieces are on we're gonna re be running at the fence with direct uh, passing and a higher tempo so it's not a tiki taka anymore really um so yeah, so that's basically what we're playing with. Um, now I can't remember if I set up the team for this already. So we're going to be playing Kami in goal because he needs a f he needs a few more matches, so we can make a decision on who's going to be doing what. Uh, Mark Morrison is going to be on the right of the fence with Baton and Cam Condola uh, on the centre of the fence. Uh, Joe Brown on the left, uh, George in defensive midfield. Tut in the midfield, Kaja, Hughes and Dan in the centre um, and wings of attack and then also uh, the set, I can't remember his name, let me see, Detlef. So that's our team and this is pretty much our basic team, like our, it's becoming a bit more constant, we're still thinking about who's going to be the main goalkeeper. Uh, bench we've got all the positions covered and we're going to play our first FA Cup match against St St uh, Stafford and I don't think Stafford are in a league um, so this in theory should be an easy-ish game let's put this back to full screen so yeah so We'll see what comes out of this game. In theory, we should be coming out on um, with a win. That's a theory. I'm just tidying up my notes while the game is proceeding. Now, obviously, our, our squad is very different from um, last season and the main difference is we have a lot of young players so we need to capitalize on 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 that our goalkeeping is quite immature which is why i went and got a mature goalkeeper to back up cami because cami does some really silly mistakes um 
So that's the uh, that's our weakest point in defense, I think. Sapo Song is doing quite well for us in attack. He was caught offside here. But yeah, he's been doing quite well for us in attack. Now, as far as long range, he doesn't have as a long range that is as good as Doolan was. Doolan can basically score from the middle of the, the half. Um, like in between the halfway line and the uh, and the box, but but he's he's declining quite fast now, Doolan. So that's why we got this up our song on in attack. No one's sort of jumped out as being extremely good just yet. We had some players that were like obviously the first season was Doyle. Who's still around, like J J Jamie Doyle, the wide tarp man on um, the plays on the left. The first season, he was completely st stood out as being one of the best players. Um, and then the season before that, Doolan was definitely one of our strongest players. And this season, no one stood out just yet, but it's still early days. So let's watch the replay now. It was Kaja crossed, Sapo Song couldn't get there. And Wishart just made made the best with that um, clearance from the fence. That was great. Now it's it's our third season in this league, so what I'd very much like to get to the playoffs this time around. I think. It's about time that we start making progress up the leagues. I think obviously, we're still at a disadvantage because we're not a professional team. The board isn't isn't giving us enough capital to be able to invest in being a professional team, but we're you know, slowly improving the team as a whole. So let's watch the replay from Sapo Song. What happened here? So we had Condola cutting, Akaja as well, doing what he did. Ooh, no, shorter pass this time into Hughes, and then Hughes a shorter pass into Sapo Song. Okay, so different sort of play than last time. Mixing it up, lovely to see. Half time, I think we don't need to make any changes. Let's save the subs for, subs for the second half. And um, obviously, with the start of the season, there are a few instances where the the week is congested. We had uh, quite a few weeks recently where we had two matches in the same week. So there was one time where we had to use um, players from our under 18th, uh, well, from our youth, both under 18th and under 23. Um, so yeah, so that. That's tricky, but I think actually that match went okay, actually. I think we won that one. Sapo with the th second one for him, third one for us as a whole. Kaja again, so it always starts with Kaja. Kaja into Hughes. This is basically a copy of the previous goal. Kaja to Hughes, Hughes to a Sapo song. So this one is basically a photocopy. Morrison goes into the area. Why is hot? So, it's, so. Okay, so we can see that through passes, like through the middle, work well for his sapper, and long crosses into the far post works well for Wishart because Wishart, that's how he did scored last time, is like a long cross from behind into the far post. Should we think about some subs? Um. few tired players around. I'm gonna try Coulter. And I'm gonna try Donnelly. And 
he's getting tired too but not too much let's put Barton there And it's the last 10 minutes now. So probably not much will happen. But it gives some minutes to the guys on the bench, which is good. Okay, here goes Hughes into Morrison. Morrison does a far post again. And West Hart. Loves those balls. So this time with a header. So this was Kaja into Hughes. Hughes passes back into Morrison, who crosses across, across the wide post. Nice. So yeah, so we can see that we have a couple of plays that are working for us. And that's all that we needed for that match. So we're through to the next round. So that'll be the second qualifying round. Thumping. Got an achievement with that one. Nice. Let's praise Wes Hart for three goals. So we have a seven day break here, which is nice. We're going to see who we're getting for the third qualifying round. I don't like how the game stops so much. It might be something in the settings that I can change, but I feel like it, it stops. I would rather if it kind of stopped only if there's something important to tell me. But it seems to just stop several times within the day when it doesn't really need to. Team meeting. Oh, no, not going to do that. Yeah, why not? I mean, we just praised him, but it doesn't hurt to praise him again, I suppose. We're going to draw Basford United. Okay, so that's quite an easy draw again. set up for this next match but um, might not be able to fit it into the episode because I'll try to not not go beyond 20 minutes too much so I'll set up for the match against Boston and then uh, essentially I'll just continue um, I guess it's because it's the third time we're playing through the National North League um, I almost don't want to make too many episodes with the same content, if you see what I mean, so I'll just play through it. Um, and then come back later in the season, after the um, winter transfer season. Uh, sorry, the winter transfer window. And I'll come back after that, uh, just to see how we're doing. If we're still kind of doing okay. I'd quite like to be in the playoff zone by then. Because that would set us up really well for the later half of the season. So we'll see how, how that how that goes. Now let's set up for this next match. Playing Boston. Boston at 10th at the moment. Um, with one point more than we. And okay, so we got we're still gonna keep Cami. Uh, Morrison did well. These guys are doing okay. Um, not worth changing. This guy's doing fine for now. Donnelly isn't good enough to take first place. Yeah, pretty happy with this. I think no changes. No one's tired anyway. So no changes. These guys formed their relationship here, which is nice to see. Um, that wasn't there before. So we got all the positions that we need 
on the pitch. Okay, I think I think that that's it. So I will come back. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the schedule. I'll come back possibly around here. So uh, the next time we play against Boston, maybe. So a, a half a year on, um, just to see how it's going. But yeah, so far so good. Um, we we do have sometimes some issues. I think. What happened in that one? Obviously, the first game of the season, I went with the players that did the best in the preseason, and then for that game, I used all the other players that didn't have a chance to play for the first match. So, it tended to be like our weaker players. So that's maybe why we lost there. And then from then on, we just kind of been trying to tweak, make little tweaks, and seeing if we can establish like the main eleven, and then um, tweak that way. We're still working on the goalkeeper, I think. Kami will possibly take first as far as goalkeeping position goes. Um, other players to keep an eye on uh, will be uh, Doyle potentially, but I think the thing is Doyle is starting to get old now, so maybe not. Uh, definitely Angel, Coulter will keep an eye on, and Edward Jones. So the two centre-backs, they're both young, they're both able of... Uh, being quite high high performance as well. Ben Pringle, he has he has only played one match. He hasn't had a chance to play really because he's been injured all the time. So maybe later on, you'll see Ben Pringle fin uh, feature a bit more. Uh, but again, it just depends how how he develops. Oh, actually, he's old. So yeah, maybe not. Maybe Ben Pringle would just be a backup. So yeah, Thomas is young and seems to be doing okay. So yeah. Yeah, so I'll catch up with you in the next episode. We'll be um, sort of towards uh, well into well into our second half of the season, and we'll see how it goes then. Uh, thanks so much for watching this one. Uh, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you can catch up with what's coming ahead. Um, yeah, see if you can progress through the leagues with Hereford again. It's taking a little bit of time, but I think saves like this always take a little bit of time to get going because you need to establish that first squad and we haven't yet been able to get we still have a lot of turnaround of players from season to season and while that happens it's going to be hard to get promoted but slowly but surely we'll get there thanks so much for watching see you in the next one bye bye take care